Hello everyone, this is Bahman. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about how we can render explosion with Redshift. So yeah, I'm gonna just make a very simple uh, scene with the preset that comes with the Phonics FT on the gasoline explosion. So I'm not gonna spend time on the um, playing around the phonics parameters. Uh, I'm gonna just change those ones that we have to change to get the result out of uh, Redshift. So here, uh, first we have to go and uh, check those channels that we need for rendering. We need temperature and smoke and also velocity and the other thing is we are gonna change it to vdb and i'm gonna name so these are the changes that we have to make before we start simulation so i'm gonna do simulation and when it's done i will come back to you so now our simulation is done uh, i just add uh, one uh, camera and also just this plane as a ground and i just applied the mate to just uh, capture the shadows uh, without uh, seeing it in the render and uh, also i put uh, some lights around to just see what's going on and uh, now because uh, at the moment uh, Redshift doesn't uh, support uh, rendering directly the Phonix FT or Fumafix so we have to just import the VDB that we uh, saved as a cache uh, here so I'm gonna go to the uh, here Redshift uh, volume and I will put it here and then we'll address it to our cache and now I will align it to our container and hide it so now we have our uh, redshift uh, volume grid and lights uh, I will just remove renderable of this sphere so we will not see it anymore so now if i just mm, press render mm, sorry we will not see anything because uh, we didn't assign uh, the uh, volumetric shader yet so i'm gonna here choose the redshift volume material and selecting the redshift volume assign so as you remember uh, we export the channels that we want so here a smoke will be our in the scatter um, panel we are gonna put sorry uh, smoke and here in the emission channel we are gonna use the temperature chair and so mm, now as you can see here uh, because I already uh, put these channels uh, in my uh, parameters panel so it's already have it here so you are gonna also put the velocity x y z here as you can see here we have those channels so we will put them here so we will have motion blur so now if i render uh, 
as you can see it's just not what we want so the reason is showing like this is we have to uh, this emission that we use the temperature channel we have to rearrange it so here in this emission channel remapping uh, the old mean gonna be 1000 I uh, get to these numbers uh, before I, I tried and find that these ones it depends and um, you are exporting this VDB from which program or which plugin Houdini or other uh, pro, uh, programs will be different but in here between 1000 and 1500 will be okay and I'm gonna uh, this part of the ramp will gonna be the hottest area higher temperature so I'm gonna make it orange to see it better so now if we just render it we are gonna see much better result as you can see so um, for increasing the density of the smoke we can just come here we can increase the scatter uh, coefficient so um, I'm gonna make it something like 30 and also you have to increase the absorption which is the uh, transparency of it we'll increase this one also so now if we try now it's much better result the only issue at the moment is as you can see it's very weak the intensity of the fire is very low so by the way I think I just have the yes that's why it's slow <sighs> okay so here uh, I'm gonna increase this to 10 emission scale so now we are gonna have better result so this is the result without any GI so if I just enable um, GI I prefer brute force and I'm gonna put 3000 or I'm not gonna talk about the sampling here at the moment uh, hopefully in the future videos I will talk but for now I think it should be enough and now you can see the scattering and the how the fire is affecting the smoke and the ground yes so yeah uh, we can say somehow this is the uh, final result you can play around with the uh, settings here in the material editor. you can play with the colors the smoke and the, um, the smoke colors here and also the fire and uh, resampling it here so hopefully uh, I mean you will not have any problem if you had any problem just let me know uh, I hope this tutorial was uh, be useful for you. Thank you for watching.